My hair is healthy. I've been drinking my water. I've been taking my vitamins. I have been keeping the heat off of it and just wrapping it and protecting it. And it's beautiful. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today <laughs> we have another hair video and this is her. This is her. This is she. This is it sitting on my head right now. This is an absolutely gorgeous, kinky straight texture that mimics a beautiful blowout. It's bouncy, it's flowy, it looks healthy. It looks like it could be mine, okay? Before we get into this video to show you how I achieved this look, if you're new, I would love for you to join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I do hair, nails, makeup, fitness, and everything related to beauty. So if you're into that, you're gonna love this channel. If you wanna see how easy it was to install this wig, we have another minimalist wig, then stay tuned and keep on watching. I'm super excited about this review today because this wig has two things that I love about it straight from the jump before I even put it on my head. Number one, it's supposed to be easy because it's supposed to be glueless. Number two, it is that kinky straight texture that I absolutely love and I believe it has the kinky edges. I gotta double check my box. So this is the second wig that I was telling you guys about after you just saw my recent minimalist wig video from Love Me Hair. So this one I believe is also from the minimalist collection but let's double check it is a different texture and a different cut so yes this is the 4c edges ready to wear kinky straight bob minimalist lace glueless deep c part short wig y'all had me at the edges had me at glueless had me at a bob this wig <laughs> <laughs> Y'all already know this is going to be a keeper for me because I love this type of texture. I love these edges. Yes, indeed. All right. So this is what the hair looks like right here. This is a very blunt cut bob. I have my flat iron ready. I don't love the crinkle part of it, but she feels thick. She is showing right now on the website for $179.90. And this is in 10 inches, so good everyday length. Look at the movement. Let's look at the cap construction. So this is also just like the other one. You have your C part. You have your one inch parting space here. The knots are already bleached for you. Two combs here on the side. Your one comb in the back. You got your elastic band. You can't take it out, but it's adjustable and you have your adjustable straps in the back right here. So pretty good standard cap construction. I love this C part and it is on the left side like I like it, so I definitely appreciate that. But if I can get this to show the hairline here, as you can see, she has the little kinky edges here. So that is what is the rave right now. We went from wanting everything slick back, scalpiana, all of that to now we want our edges to look kinky and natural but we relax our hair and we want it straight we don't know what we want but at the end of the day it's good to have options so I'm just gonna go ahead I'm gonna do this one like I did my last one I'm gonna put my wig grip that helps the wig not slip and I'm not gluing I'm not <laughs> spraying I'm not doing any of the things I want to see if this one works as well as the last one did but I am going to style this one a little bit more just because I want to see I want to get some of these little crinkles out and I want to be able to just put a little bump at the end you know you know how we do with a bob so let's get into it now I'm trying to figure out if I feel like this cap construction is different from the other one or if I just have it tighter on my head but I feel like she don't feel as big head friendly as the other one because she is snug 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 but look at her she is cute so you can see 
yeah I got it centered it's good um the edges here the sides are still out but that's okay we're just gonna go ahead and I am gonna straighten these edges a little bit but I do want to come in a little bit so you can see what the hairline looks like so this is what we have it is pretty straight if you pull that down oh okay this is interesting so mm, I'm not sure how I feel about this if I pull this down there's a little bit of hair right here in the front and then you see a track okay I was not expecting that to be that obvious you don't really have a lot of room to work with plucking this so that is something to be mindful of but I mean just right off the bat because of how the edges are made like you can't see anything I'm gonna go ahead and cut the lace and do all that stuff speed through all of it like I did and the styling and then I'll come back and give you guys my final thoughts but this is what she is looking like so far if you like oh and it kind of looks like it's layered based on how it's parted so I love that. I don't have to do the cutting myself. But if you like just big hair that just looks like I woke up and I was ready to go, like, you could do this. But I'm going to tame her a little bit. So let's get into the install. guys so this is it for the final look this one I will have to say was not as throw on and go as the other one because I personally don't love when it's like super crinkly so I went ahead just to save my shoulder took it off my head put it on my mannequin head and I flat ironed and hot combed the whole thing so I'll go ahead and turn around and show you guys what it looks like in the back just because I wanted to be able to make sure I got it all without hurting myself so this is it from the side I love how much body this wig has and how much movement it has like it is just super super soft and bouncy and flowy and God if my hair could ever get this healthy and strong and I feel like because of how this is made and the texture of the edges I could even push this back all the way and have my sideburns out and maybe brush them down a little bit and that would still look good because of how the edges are so 
I did pass my hot comb through these edges a little bit for the simple fact that I feel like it was just a little too much. <laughs> 4C is a lot, and that's not even my natural hair texture, but now I just feel like my hair is healthy. I've been drinking my water. I've been taking my vitamins. I have been keeping the heat off of it and just wrapping it and protecting it, and it's beautiful. Thank you guys for sticking with me to the end of this video. Comment below and let me know what you think. Is this an everyday wig for y'all? I could definitely see myself wearing it. I would probably put some mousse right here just to kind of make sure this stays down because for whatever reason it's buckling up a little bit um i will say again i'm not sure the cap size on this one but she is not as big head friendly as the other one was i felt like i had a lot of room in it i'm trying to pull up the specs because i don't think i even went through that so this one does say 150 percent density i think it's way more than that I don't know, but she definitely feels like she has a lot more thickness. But again, it could just also be the texture of the hair that's making it feel that way. And it says it's a standard medium 22 and a half inches cap construction. But again, I feel like she's a little smaller. That's just me. So let me know what y'all think. Would you wear this wig? Like, tell me this is not an everyday wig because it's probably going to be one of my everyday wigs. So that answers that. Thank you again, Love Me Hair, for sending me this wig. I love both of them. I think they both give different styles. This is every day. The other one felt a little more glam to me, but it's another hit. And now that I have gotten most of the crinkles out, I can put her in her bag. And then when I'm ready to wear her, pull her back out, plop her on and go. No glue, no spray, no nothing. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, I hope you decided to join the family and I will see you in my next video. Bye.